Praise God, praise God. Praise God. Welcome in, welcome in to another presentation by Brother Morlin Terrell McAlemore. I want to uh, minister uh, the prophet, Brother Morlin McAlemore. I want to uh, edify the body of Christ, the great ecclesia, the, the great body of Christ, the church, the body of Christ, ecclesia, that we be instructed, we be admonished, we be edified with the uh, with my presentation here. Uh, I thank you for all, um, all, all welcome into this presentation. To all listeners, welcome, welcome. I hope you we all get something out of this. Praise God. My title is to this presentation is. Lift up your head and shoot the arrow. Lift up your head and shoot the arrow. Saints, lift up your head and shoot the arrow is the title of this message. I'm starting off with a scripture for your references. is uh, 2 Kings 13, 14 to 19. And Joash, the king of Israel, came down unto him and wept over his face and said, O oh, my father, my father, the, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof. And Elijah said to him, Take bow and arrows. And he took him bow and arrows and said unto the king of Israel, Put thy hand upon thy bow. And he put it in his hand upon it. And Elijah put his hands upon the king's hands. And he said, Open the window eastward. Then Elijah said, shoot, and he shot, and said, the arrow of the Lord's deliverance, the arrow of deliverance from Syria, thou shalt smite the Syrians in Aphek, till thou have consumed them. And he said, take the, take, the, take the arrows, take the arrows, and he took them, and said unto the king of Israel, smite upon the ground, and he smote thrice and stayed. And the man of God was wroth with him and said, Thou shalt have smitten five to six times. Then thou hast smitten Syria till thou hast consumed it. Then hast thou smitten Syria until thou hast consumed it. Where is now thou hast shall smite Syria but thrice? Second Corinthians 10. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Psalms 24 and 7. Lift up your, lift up your head, O ye gates, and be and ye lift and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and, and the king of glory shall come in. Praise God, praise God. Welcome in, welcome in. The title of this message is Lift Up Your Head and Shoot the Arrows. Lift up your head and shoot the arrow. Praise God, praise God. Body Christ, this means war. I will war. This is spiritual warfare. This is this is a spiritual war we are all a part of. Shoot the arrow of the spoken word of faith. Body Christ, saints, shoot the arrow of the spoken word of faith. Look unto the hills which come at your help and speak. Body of Christ, saints, it's time to engage in war. It's time to engage. It's time, it's time to bind the strong man in your region, then begin to war. There are demons in your region trying to take over. There is a kingdom of darkness, a modern-day army, just like the Syrians of the past, who today oppose the body of Christ in Jesus Christ. Begin to engage and speak the words of faith. For this, this is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. The New Testament scriptures teach us that the, wor the worlds were created and formed by the word of God. So it's time to shoot the arrow of the word of God. Shoot, shoot bullseye. Shoot bullseye at that target. For we all know what that target is. Whatever the situation or circumstance in your life, that is your target. We all can use some more deliverance into our lives. It's time to shoot the arrow of deliverance for ourselves, our neighbors, our loved ones, 
for our family, our, our friends, our careers. Whatever the situation, circumstance is for our finances, shoot the arrow in the atmosphere. Shoot. Saints, do you want to see the people in your own country saved and delivered? Then shoot the arrow of the word of faith. If we shoot the arrows of the word of God, then, our, then strongholds in our region will come down and be broken and giants will be slain. Second Chronicles 7, 14, if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked, evil ways, then when you hear from heaven, heal our land. Then you hear from heaven, forgive our sin and heal our land. If we take up enough prayer in our war rooms, which is our rooms of prayer in our war rooms, then God will send revival in our regions. Arise, intercessors, arise, arise. It's time for the intercessor to arise. It's time for the, it's time for the, it's, it's arise, prayer warriors. It's time for the intercessors to arise, arise, intercessors, arise, arise. John 1, John chapter 1, verse 1, the Gospels of John, the Gospel of John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word was God. That's John chapter 1, verse 1, the gospel of John. Saints, take bow and arrow and shoot the word of God because Psalms 12 and 6 tells us, tells us that the word of God is established. I, Brother Morley Macklemore, I am, I am ordained by God a prophet in the fivefold ministry at a, at, at a deliverance ministry, at a local deliverance ministry. I know that I know that the arrow deliverance is 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 at my church home. I know I know that the arrow deliverance is at my church home. In ministry and in, in our personal lives, some of us stop speaking faith too soon. In ministry and in, in our personal lives, some of some of some of us some of us some of us stop speaking faith too soon. When our leader says smite the arrow into the ground, some of some of us with the arrow only smite three times. When we should have spitting the arrow five to six times into the ground. I know if we smite the ground with the arrow not three times, but if we smite five to six times, then God will give us a victory against any opposing force. Saints, how long do you pray when you pray? How long do you pray? If it was only for 30 minutes, maybe now we need to double it up and go for an hour. Smite the ground with the arrow, not just three times, but five to six times. Remember Elijah the Tishbite, a man that was subject to light passions, as like everyone else in his generation, but he prayed again and again until there was no rain. We just a turn, we just a turn to prayer, to speak the words of faith and atmosphere, all it takes is a turn. We just return to prayer. We just return. We just return to prayer. It's gonna take a turn. It's gonna take a turn. We just return. Household of faith. Household of faith. We we, we just return. Household of faith. We just return. Backside and treasure of Israel. We, we just return. He said he would take. He said he would take one of a city, two of a family. He said he'll turn you back. He's married to the backsider. We just return. It's gonna take a turn. We just return. To prayer, to speak the words of faith and atmosphere. While we are speaking words of faith, God Most High is backing up our every word. He is shooting arrows himself. While we are shooting, God is shooting. While we are shooting, God is shooting. Psalm 64, 7 through 10. But God will shoot at them with the arrow. Suddenly they will be wounded. For the Lord is a for, for the Lord is a man of war. Exodus fifteen and three. Body of Christ, lift up your head and shoot the arrow because we are at war. Praise God! 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 Hallelujah, Jesus! Hallelujah! Bless the body of Christ. Blessed by the Christ to be wise as serpents, harmless as doves. Help, help us to put on the full armor in the body of Christ. Help us, help us to put on the full armor in, in the body of Christ. Help us to put on the full armor in the body of Christ.
Help us to put on the full armor in, in the body of Christ. Help us to put on the full armor and in, in stand against the wiles of the devil. Hallelujah. To put on the full armor and stand against the wiles of the devil. To put on the full armor and stand against the wiles of the devil. 